Hey, welcome to Mixin' Business Mom. I have been kind of under the weather, so this week's gonna be super straightforward. We're gonna declutter. We're going to talk about other um, business duties of the Mixin' Business Mom and just get to know each other a little better. Thanks for being here. This room just gets consistently out of control. The bed is actually still cleared off. These I just put here because I want to change out my storage bins in my closet because um, they don't fit. Let's turn this light on and show you. They're very big storage boxes. I got them initially because I needed watertight containers in our last, uh, the condo that we lived in because storage was um, in the basement of the condo building. And they're just too big. They're just too big and I want this because it's a clothes closet. You can also see the clothes are crazy out of control, but that's because I can't get to them. I can't reach them. There's stuff on the floor. And some of this stuff is the stuff that I cleared off the bed. Um, actually, most of that's up there because I did, in fact, put it away. But these it the these small containers on the side are, are more the size that I need to stack up in here. So we're going to try to get all that stuff into some of these empty containers. I think that this will work and um, I'm hopefully going to have a usable closet um, this big box the reason I think this will work this box here is fabric and as you remember my sewing machine is located in the storage hallway so we're gonna move the fabric to the storage hallway um, some of my fabric is already out there in smaller bins we're just downsizing let's go Okay, so let me talk through the progress we've got so far. This is costumes, and there's going to be a label here. Okay, right there. So we've got just costumes that I'm not using right now. Uh, Tree, Mermaid, um, Star Trek, um, Star Wars. That's still Star Wars. Um, gown, gown, um, kimono, black leather jacket, um, Renaissance vest, um, Glinda, <sighs> Scarecrow, Cop, um, L, no, that wasn't Elle Woods, who was that? That was, um, Cher from Clueless, um, just a black, um, bustier, um, scrubs, and a kite from your good man, Charlie Brown. Uh, here's my hats box. I used all these for when I did Sing and Sing 2 last semester. Um, oh, I'll use these animal ones. And this is from Peter Pan. That's Captain Hook, obviously. That's a witch. Um, Susicle. This is for Thing 1 and Thing 2. Um, I can't, I don't know where the other Susicle hat is. I can I make sure that they're all together. Oh, wait, I do know. It's in the storage hallway. So we need to make sure we move stuff from the storage hallway that's costumes up here and stuff that's not costumes like fabric and thing, you know, uh, crafts and stuff to the storage hallway. This back here, I know it's a big pile right now. I'm going to put it in this empty because this empty can go with me to rehearsal. And the kids are so looking forward to trying on costumes for our greatest showman rehearsals. And then this is going to be wigs. We've got some jewelry accessories. This is going to be just t-shirts because I use t-shirts every summer for camp, different colors. And um, this is accessories, but that could be the same as props. It's tough being a te theater teacher and, and finding categories for stuff, but this is, this is actually the easier of my business tasks that I want to complete in this video. Um, it, complicated, but uh, you know, it doesn't involve calling anybody or marketing.
Okay, the bed is recovered, but it was for a good purpose. This is all organized and ready to put back into the empty closet uh, upper area. Let's put this away. Okay, this is to take to my current theater class for costumes. This is my other class that's doing um, flags for props. This is for Halloween. This I need to just get rid of. And here we come into the closet. There's my dress forms. You can, I can reach, I can walk in and reach the clothes. And then this pile is, I know, mem memorabilia. I know I, I'm, I'm a work in progress. But this is for, it's piano bench that I can stand up and reach all this. So this is done and it's all accessible and it's all in smaller portions. Nothing's sticking out over the edge so we're not all in an imminent danger whenever we walk in. Um, this is costumes, costumes, um, wigs, shoes, props, props, hats, and another box of hats. And back behind there is uh, costumes I'm not, costumes I'm not going to need, t-shirts for the summer because it's nowhere near summer, and then um, backdrops that I'm not going to need, they were from Wizard of Oz, and like one other thing, uh, oh, some batting, batting to make stuffed animals, or to make um, fat suits, which I have done before. And there's my hats that I need in real life and that I use in real life. Some of this closet stuff is stuff that I actually use in real life. And now, and now I can. Now I can. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Yay. Periodically, I work on the computer. I know. I know. I'm very high tech. But what you're watching is super boring. Like just me closing some tabs and um, copying and pasting some lyrics from uh, my email account into the Word so that it's formatted better for scripts. Um, the shows that I'm currently working on are The Greatest Showman, In the Heights, and Encanto. And I just do little, like, tiny excerpts um, for teaching purposes, no need to report me to the copyright authorities. I looked it up, it's kosher. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about those shows upcoming. I just wanted to show that I am trying to be a good businesswoman and keep up with my um, duties for my classes. And really, this week was also all about business as far as the decluttering activities though all of the things that i was decluttering and wedging in and reorganizing were for business were for three theater costumes so um very a very small amount it's like 10 percent of it was um my own personal stuff that's a lot of my life is a hybrid like i'm doing something for work like watching in a conto so that I can rearrange the script and only use excerpts for teaching purposes. And my kids are also watching a conto with me. Or we'll go see a play, like Sing in the Rain, because one of my students was in it last semester. And it's a great family activity, but it's also a good networking opportunity for me because I sit down next to a family and I can say, hey, that's my student right there. And they're like, what do you mean you're a student? I'm a voice teacher and I've given out a lot of cards that way and because the, that family is that or that person that I'm discussing that with is already there watching their kid um, then they're they already have an interest level that I wouldn't have otherwise if I was just like going down to the pier and handing out cards or just like um, networking at any other type of event one last thing I want to share as a family, we went to Columbia Space Museum. This is my son trying really hard to use the robot. 
and you're not going to see a clip of him succeeding, although he did succeed. But I just want to show no matter what age you are, we're all learning things for the first time and we're going to try a lot and we're going to fail a lot. And it's in the process. It's in the process that we learn the most. If you're feeling frustrated, like my son is here, just remember there's probably a proud mommy standing behind most of us filming everything thinking that we're wonderful whether we succeed or fail and they're just happy to watch us we hopefully all have somebody that loves us that much and if not then we got to work on loving ourselves that much to give ourselves the space to try and try and try again and just be happy that we're alive doing it. Okay, have a great week. I hope this was helpful. That's what I'm here for.